What type of person would ever, ever consider bringing a lawsuit against their doctor whom they once loved? Do you want to know the answer? Come join me for a walk through the neighborhood as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. You've heard the phrase, what kind of person sues their doctor? How is that possible? How could you even think of suing your doctor? He's a legend in our community. He is so well regarded. He has such a great reputation. How could you ever, ever think of bringing a lawsuit against this doctor? Let me share with you the two types of people that I have recognized bring lawsuits over the course of more than 35, actually almost 36 years of practicing here in the state of New York. All right, so the first type of person who is interested in bringing a lawsuit against a doctor whom they believe was careless and caused them significant harm and injury is someone who wants vengeance, someone who wants to get back and retaliate against the doctor for causing them such horrible injuries, such horrible disabilities, such permanent injury that now their lives are turned upside down. The person who wants to bring a lawsuit for revenge or for vengeance, that's an interesting characteristic. The second type of person who winds up bringing a lawsuit usually wants none of that. Usually they're the type of person who tends to live with pain. They're the type of person who says, you know what, this is fate. This is what God meant. I'm going to go ahead and do the best I can with whatever I have left. And now whatever's meant to be, is meant to be. Those types of people tend to be the most likely ones to ultimately bring a lawsuit. Now, many times I have clients coming to me and saying, listen, I've never brought a lawsuit before. I'm hesitant to go ahead and start a lawsuit against a doctor who we used to love. We loved him. We went to him. We believed in him. He was treating us so well for such a long period of time. He treats my family. He treats everybody in the community. We loved him. Those types of people do not want vengeance. Instead, they're trying to figure out how to be a better person. They're trying to figure out how to make the best with what is left, with the injuries that they have, how to survive. Those are the types of people who sit around at two o'clock in the morning trying to figure out how to put food on the table for their families. Those are the types of individuals who turn around and say, you know what, I won't be able to work again, ever. So how will I be able to support my family? How will I be able to pay my rent, pay my mortgage, pay for my car, pay for anything, my child's tuition? How will I be able to put my kids through college? Those are the people who turn around and say, I don't understand. How is this possible? My life has been upended and now I have to try and survive while my family looks at me and takes pity on me. That's not who I am. That's not who I want to be. Those are the types of people I find to be most interesting, and I'll tell you why. Those individuals want nothing more other than to go back in time to their former selves before this incident ever happened. They want nothing to do with the lawsuit process. They don't want to bring a lawsuit against anybody. They don't want to get involved in litigation. They're not out for vengeance. They just want to go on with their lives as if none of this ever happened. Those are the types of individuals who turn around and say, you know what? I, I don't understand what I'm going to do. I can't figure it out. I don't have the answers and I don't know how I'm going to survive and my family's going to survive. Those are the people who come to me and say, I don't know what to do. To which I ask them, what type of injuries do you have? How is your life different now than what it used to be? What are those things you are limited from doing on a daily basis? And how have your activities been restricted because of the injuries you have suffered? Those are the people I find to be most selfless, meaning they want nothing to do with the entire litigation process. They don't want to have to go through a lawsuit. They don't want to have to sue anybody. They don't want to go ahead and give deposition testimony or ultimately go to trial. Those people want one thing only. They want their health back. And unfortunately, we cannot turn back the hands of time. We cannot put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And in all likelihood, your doctors, your treating doctors, will have done everything possible to try and make you whole again, to try and improve the condition that you're in. You might need future surgery and ongoing medical care and treatment, and even physical therapy and rehabilitation. All of those things you will need. But those types of people turn around and say, you know what, I don't want anything to do with the lawsuit process. But on the other hand, no one's going to cut them a check voluntarily and say, okay, here's the money that you can use for your children's education. Here's the money to pay for your rent and your mortgage and to pay for your car and to pay for all your other expenses. Nobody is going to do that. 
Nobody's going to do that voluntarily. So the only alternative that these people have is to go ahead with a civil lawsuit seeking money as a form of compensation for all the harms and losses and damages that they incurred as a result of this person's carelessness. When those people actually do go ahead and bring a lawsuit, they usually are not concerned with what happens day by day, month by month in their particular case. They are focused on trying to get better. They're trying to focus on living their best life. They're trying to focus on overcoming their biggest hurdles and obstacles and limitations. Those are the people who turn around and say thank you for helping me through the litigation process because I never wanted to be here to begin with. And those are the people I have the most honor and privilege representing. Why? Because they are so focused on trying to improve themselves. The other individuals who I mentioned earlier, the ones who are out for vengeance, they want the doctor's license revoked, they want to make sure his family is destroyed, they want to make sure everybody in the community knows what they did. You know, there's a place and time for that, but these civil lawsuits are designed primarily to obtain money as a form of compensation because we can't go ahead and put things back the way they were. Nobody can do that. So this is the only alternative our civil system of justice allows. And those are the types of people I see on an everyday basis. So why do I share this with you? I share this with you just to open your eyes to help you understand how these types of medical malpractice cases work in the state of New York. You know, as you're watching this video, you might identify yourself with one of those two types of people. And you know what? I'll tell you straight out right now. It's okay if you are part of the first group. That's perfectly acceptable and understandable. And it's perfectly acceptable and understandable if you identify with the second group of people. I merely mention that to help you see that there's more than one type of person who goes ahead and brings a lawsuit. And merely because someone says, you know, we used to love this person. They were great. They were wonderful until they weren't anymore. And at that point, you realize, okay, my life has been upended. I need to look into this to see whether or not there might be a viable case here that we could proceed forward as a goal of trying to obtain money as compensation for your injuries. You know, I realize you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you are thinking about bringing a lawsuit but still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.